Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing good. So if you're looking in the market looking for a feature phone, a feature phone with some smarter application and one that uh, also is a flip phone, probably the Nokia 2720 would be your best purchase. Now this is not a new device, in fact it's been in the market for quite some time now but it is definitely a relevant purchase in today's day. Now with that said, next to me is the 2660. The 2660 is definitely one of HMD Global's best selling flip phones and you could probably see a lot of uh, this type of design in the coming future. Uh, with that said, this is how the 2660 is. Next to the 2720 you can see the difference in the in their design and how they flip. Now the 2660 runs on the S30 Plus platform, a robust platform but is slightly more restricted than the 2720. But there are things that the 2660 does much better than the 2720. For example, the wireless FM solution, a much more robust camera application compared to the one on the 2720. So for those of you not familiar, this runs on QuietOS version 2.5.2, which gives it access to WhatsApp and certain Google application. It has a 1500 mAh battery powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 205 with 4 GB of uh, internal storage, which is expandable and 512 MB of RAM. Now it has this awkwardly placed camera at an angle here. This is a 2 megapixel snapper with LED flash. And on the uh, left hand side of the device, you've got a 3.5 millimeter head jack, which is very crucial for you to enjoy the radio function because this does not have the wireless FM solution. You also have got a very handy Google Assistant button here, which I think this is the best implemented way to access the Google functions here because everything is just a click away. You don't have to waste your time clicking or typing for it just to search what you want. Just click and dictate and it does the search for you. At the bottom is the micro USB charging option and on the left hand side is a volume rocker. I said earlier this is how the device is designed. The design itself is much more refined than the 2720. It feels more robust, more premium in hand and I kind of like how they have uh, sort of have tweaked the design compared to just following or just rehashing the 2660's design. So a really good move by HMD Global there which gives the Nokia 2720 a more, I would say a more premium outlook with the dual tone color and a more different design compared to the other feature phones out there. Now for those of you not familiar, this is how the layout is with the Kai OS. This is running version 2.5. This is a 4G LTE device with Wi-Fi support. Now one of the other highlights of the device uh, that a lot of people have been requesting is the ability to do internet sharing. So you can share, use this device at a hotspot. This is a, also a device that supports voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi. Now, the KaiOS here is running 2.5.2, it's not the latest KaiOS and uh, just to take note of, the latest KaiOS has certain issues with WhatsApp and certain Google apps, so you don't get the similar treatment that you get with the older KaiOS here. Going forth, it's hard to say whether HMD Global will be launching KaiOS devices and if they do, which version would it be and whether or not it will give you the same capability like these devices here, which makes owning this device even more interesting. Now. One thing that sets this device apart than the S30 Plus is the access to Google function as well as uh, WhatsApp. So WhatsApp here I've shown in my earlier KaiOS video a detailed, um, uh, a detailed look into what the WhatsApp can do and also you've got tons of options you know, so you can sync your contacts with an Android device. You can also do uh, 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 sync your calendar with this device. You can send emails with this device. You can use the navigation with the maps option here. You do have access to YouTube. You do have access to a Google Assistant. So all this can be synced with your Google account. Now, one thing that sets the device apart from the S30 Plus platform is the ever-growing uh, KaiOS App Store. So do have a lot of apps which is being added. But one thing cool about the KaiOS devices here is that it has its own community where they tweak the device so it can do much more than you could. So it's sort of like a jailbreaking the KaiOS device to do more so you can search on it in the internet which makes it much more an interesting purchase compared to a 2660 device which is more restrictive in recent times. So overall I would say the 2720 is the best flip phone you can purchase especially if you're looking one with a smartphone function because this is probably the most ideal device out there for you. It has all the right things in the right places in the right amount at the right price. So with that said, this is just a quick look into the Nokia 2720 in recent, uh, in, in future you're going to see much more uh, newer flip phones from HMD Global but it's hard to say whether or not it will be running on KaiOS. So with that said, I hope to see you in my next video. Do stay safe and take care and hope to see you in the next one.